Friday, slipping into the weekend, the last day of the work week, we will look at the last of the three things we've just learned from the events of Joseph's life as we seek to make our life a blessing and thus reap blessings for ourselves. Now, I want you to understand something. You've got to reap blessings before you can sow, sow them. Or you've got to sow them before you can reap them. Get that right. You, are you sowing blessings as you go? Are you making sure God's providential care is seen in everything that you do? you got to sow before you can reap. Now here's what Joseph said. But Joseph said to them, Do not be afraid. The same scripture we've had for the last two days. For I am in God's place. As for you, you meant evil against me. But God meant it for good. In order to bring about the present results to preserve many people alive. So therefore, do not be afraid. I will provide for you and your little ones. So he comforted them and spoke kindly to them. Here is the major truth that makes life a blessing when understood and taken into life, life's paths to make a huge difference for ourselves and those around us. So how do you make a huge difference for yourself and others around us? And what do you learn from our scripture? Here it is. The love of God when exercise teaches redeemed sinners to love and forgive those humans around them. That's what we have to do. Loves The love of God when exercised teaches the redeemed sinner to love and forgive those humans around him. Why? Because you've been forgiven so much. What's he saying? He's saying, I forgive you. I want to comfort you. Look at what he says. Do not be afraid. And I tell you today, do not be afraid to do what God has for you to do. God loves you. As Joe loved his brothers because they were his brothers. Why did he love them? Why did he do that for them? Because it was the right thing to do and because he loves them. You need to do the right thing <clears throat> because it's the right thing and because you love God. Let us learn to love those around us because that is what God teaches us. <clears throat> Not just to do the word, it, but to do the word in action, lived out in Christ Jesus. <clears throat> Ephesians 4, 32 through 5 2. <clears throat> and be kind to one another, tender hearted, <clears throat> forgiving each other, just as God in Christ also forgave you. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love just as Christ also loved you, and gave himself up for you, an offering and a sacrifice to God as a fragrant aroma. Is your life a fragrant aroma unto God today? How are you living? <clears throat> the love. We love those around us even as they are doing us wrong. We do the right thing not because the world does it, but we do it in spite of what the flesh does. Do not return wrong for wrong. That's one thing that Joseph teaches us and Jesus teaches us in his life. Don't return hate for hate or wrong for wrong. Let the joy and the blessings of this next scripture touch you as we close our daily today. Romans 5.8 but God demonstrated his own love towards us. And while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Oh, oh, end your time today. Go and look that up. Look up Romans 5, 8. God loved you while you were yet a sinner. You didn't have to reach a certain mark to, for God to love you. He loved you while you were yet a sinner. Love the sinners around you. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, Thank you for your love, and thank you for allowing us to show your grace, mercy, and love to those around us. In Jesus' name we pray.